Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. We are at the camp office in Mystery Lake. This is the Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series. And this will be part 12. So, yeah, we just got here and uh, it's pretty cold outside. We're pretty well fatigued. Night Nightfall is upon us. We're rolling real heavy right now. We've got a lot of heavy stuff, a lot of sticks. So I'm going to drop all those sticks. I'm going to drop all of this wood right here. And I'll drop these uh, pots and pans here as well. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to do... We're, we're a little low on water. That's probably good for about a day and a half, maybe two days. But we're going to do a big cooking session tomorrow, uh, weather permitting. Um, even if it's not weather permitting, because I'm going to be doing this outside. We're, we're going to go find a cave. I think we'll head to this cave back here that we haven't been to yet. So, But in the meantime, we need to get in here and uh, warm up. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, it's not really time for bed yet. I guess I can spend a little bit of time busting up his chair. To try, to try to wear myself down a little bit and have a better night's sleep. So let's do that. Here we go. Get another drink here. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing really well. I'm super busy at work doing a big evidence room purge. I have to go through about a thousand pieces of evidence to see if they're going to be forfeited, purged, uh, like destroyed. Um, return to owner. What else? Retained as evidence. Yeah, so doing that. Um, it's a very time-consuming process to go through each individual piece of evidence and look at the case and see the disposition of it in the court. So that, uh, that takes about three hours each day before I go completely, uh, cross-eyed and I can't do it anymore. Um, on my 12 hour shift, I've been doing it for about a month and a half now. Then I teach a driving course in about three days and, uh, teaming up with another department, a neighboring department. I want to be doing the obstacle course section of it, uh, driving agility, that sort of thing. And they're going to teach like, they're going to teach like, um, let's see here. I guess we're going with beef jerky tonight. They're going to teach, uh, stops and approaches. And then we have another officer who's going to teach stop sticks. So we're going to combine it all into one big motor vehicle field day for, for our agencies. So I have that coming up in two days. And, uh, I go to my first Browns game this Sunday against the Ravens. So that'll be interesting, considering we're both tied for first. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. And uh, seeing that defense just continue greatness, I guess. Um, let's have a little drink here, top ourselves off, get some sleep, see what the morning brings. Hopefully the weather's good. If not, that's okay. We're going to go to a cave and cook all day. Then we, I also want to explore the rest of the map too. So, But in the meantime, let's try to get about 10 hours of sleep. See if we can wake up when it's nice and bright outside. Hopefully. I think we're pretty well fatigued. Let's see. I think it was about midnight, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. At least we can see a little bit. That's good. All right. So let's head on over here. Go grab our stuff, stuff that makes us heavy, and grab some of the meat out here that needs cooked as well. We'll, Yeah, we'll do that as well. This meat isn't going to be super eh, foggy. Oh, it's still cold. I thought fog was supposed to make things warmer. Oh, shoot. I just forgot how long it's going to take to pick up sticks. Well, in the meantime, while I'm picking up sticks, I want to give a special shout out to new Patreons, but I kind of forgot where I left off with the Patreons. And so I'm just going to go back to the start of the series, which I think was about August 1st. How heavy am I? Okay. Run to be stinky. Oh, shoot. I can't run. All right. Well, we're, we're, go we're slow moving, but we'll get our flare out. So... Anyway, we're super stinky. Probably going to be pulling a wolf or something. Yeah, while I'm walking here, I'll give a shout out to uh, all you guys that have joined since August 1st. Uh, Daniel McMahon, Alexander Kav, Kaschev, Bill Resky, Angie Clover, Stinky Buddy, Phil, or I'm sorry, Paul, Wurchie, Joseph Duchette, Doshet, Doshetti? Doshet? I think that's how you say it. Felicity Kerr, Tom L. Voltrenic. Delavore, Peter Morden, Damian Wentlin, and Tony Massino. Thank you guys for joining Patreon. And uh, yeah, you guys, if you want to have your name in the lights, be famous like everybody else for as little as $1 a month and have a shout out, head on over to patreon.com forward slash Acuras2. And uh, if I don't get eaten right now, Hauling around all this crap. 
Trying to make this his cave while I have a bunch of stinkiness going on. There may be another episode where you can actually have your name up there. But it's not too far. It's just up and around this turn, and then there's one more right turn. And uh should be good. So I can always I could always Eh, it's not what I wanted. You know what I might do? I think I'll drop all those. And just move, drop all that stuff up here. Come back and grab all that. Hopefully there's not a wolf already heading towards it. So I come back here and it's like eating all my food. <laughs> I have to like try to f fight it with my flare or something. How's this weather doing? That's oh, still negative 17. Well, it's cold, but we're going to make a nice hot fire. So... We should be good. Plus, we haven't checked out this cave, and sometimes there's things in this cave. So, like, uh, not bad things, not not toothy things, but like things that can actually help us, things that we can put in our backpack and we can utilize for survival. Another interesting thing that we got, we went to this like Ohio's, part of Ohio's antique mall, which is huge. And it has a lot of really cool stuff in it. And uh, I was really impressed by the whole, I thought it was going to be like a flea market, which is basically a bunch of people sitting around. And you just have to kind of hang, haggle with them and things like that. But it wasn't like that at all. It was like a really well-oiled machine. They have a uh, security there. They have a bunch of uh, people that can help you as far as like placing a bid. They give you a chip. You, you know, you'll make a bid on an the item, they'll take it to the seller, and you don't even have any contact with the seller who owns whatever booth you're looking at, at an item in. And, uh, anyway, long story short, we got ourselves an antique radio for our dining room, because it kind of just fits the whole vibe we got going on. And uh, it was a Grundig Majestic 19, or 1097. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I got it for 160. It was the bid was uh or the the price was initially 200, so they accepted uh, 160. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's getting uh initially worked really nicely. Uh, do I want to start a fire now or no? I think I want to drop my stuff here and then come back with the food. So let's do this. Let's make ourselves light. There we go. It initially worked really pretty pretty decently. Um, decent reception and all that. And then uh, had great sound. Uh, then it kind of, after about a week, start, start, started to fade. And now it was about a quarter of the volume. So lost a lot of volume. Has vacuum tubes in it and stuff. And I don't know anything about that. I can build a computer. I build, I don't know, probably a dozen computers in my lifetime. But when it comes to that sort of thing, I have no idea. So... I found a guy here in Dayton that repairs radios, and uh, he's got it right now, and he's he's checking it out. He said it was a really good radio. It's built in. It actually says made in West West Germany, and I dated it to uh, around 1959. Um. Anyway, it's uh just has a really nice feel to it, just high quality. So I'm excited to uh, get that back and start playing some music through it. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was one interesting thing that, uh, happened since the last episode. All right, let's see if we can grab this rabbit meat here. Yeah, the, I, I would say the closest thing to describe that antique mall was like it was kind of like an ikea of antiques like start in one area you kind of snake your way through you don't have to go in one direction or anything like that they have a really nice cafe with really good food um man, it was just a lot of fun no admission or anything like that they were super helpful uh, my wife got a uh, china hutch and uh 
they helped us load it up onto the trailer. And I didn't have a blanket. I thought I had a blanket, but apparently I didn't have a blanket. So the owner of the entire complex went and found one of those big moving blankets that are like real heavy, you know, that you use for when you're actually moving furniture in like a U-Haul or something like that. He just gave it to me. He's like, yep, here you go. Just keep it in your truck. So I was like, man, that's, that's really cool. But, uh, yeah. So if you guys are in the area and you're looking for a good way to like kill about six or seven hours, just looking at really interesting things of all sorts, head on over to those, uh, antique malls in, near Springfield, Ohio, just off of 70 near, uh, state route 40. Definitely, definitely worth the trip. All right, let's check out this backpack too. Maybe this will be like a sat phone where we can call in a rescue or something. We won't even need to cook any water, will we? Yep, no sat phone today. All right, well, let's head on over here. So let's see here. I'm going to pick up some of this stuff. No, I don't. It's kind of weird that it's grabbing the stuff that's underneath. I want to holster that. I'm afraid I'm going to strike that thing up. It's like leaving the cedar firewood for last. All right, there we go. Yeah, he's all he's all tired now, and I am stinky still. So I need to drop this stuff because there's probably wolves heading our way right now. There we go. It's okay. We'd be starting a fire anyway, but. I think I'll start to fire right about. Oh wait, you know what we need to do? We need to do the torch. That's right. Nope. Nope. There we go. That's the one. All right. Good stuff. I always like these cooking sessions. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll do the book. Eighty percent chance. Sure. Why not? Get rid of those books. Why is the ominous music playing? Hopefully for no reason. That's what I want to tell myself. Is it ominous? I don't know. Would you consider that ominous music? Maybe. No. Pensive. Is that the right word? The definition of a pensive. Good old Siri. Engaging in, involving, reflecting deep or serious thought. Yeah, yeah. Pensive mood. Okay. That works. <laughs> yeah. And now if I could actually start a fire before I go through, you know, eight cattail heads. I mean, it's only 80% chance that I'm failing on here. I think we got it this time finally. Good deal. All right, now let's get another one going. Yep. It should be about 15 minutes of burn time right there, so we don't have to worry about it burning out too quick like a stick. Sticks are, what, five minutes or something like that. They're pretty quick. Five or seven minutes. I don't know. But we'll add some fuel to these. Turn. Let me turn that off. Flip the switch on that. Yeah, let's just do, uh, let's get rid of some of this reclaimed wood. Oh, uh, let's do fire cedar wood first. I think it heats uh, a little bit higher than maybe a reclaimed. There we go. Let's start warming up here. There we go. An hour and 40, hour 42. Perfect. Cooking slot. Let's do water. Cook. Yep, that works. Cook. All right, so we got some of these. 27 minutes until melt to 28. Hmm, so these do a, a liter, and they, they melt at the same rate? Is it because the heat's more spread out through here? I'm not sure. All right. So I can actually stand back here and kind of just stay warm. Uh, 
Yeah, between the two fires, it'll get real warm in here. So there we are. We're nicely, getting nicely warmed up here. All right. Um, I kind of want to read, but I guess I could. I just need to eat something, right? So let's eat a few things here, and then we'll do some reading. And then by the time we get done, because this is going to change into... Yeah. Let's do one more, and then we'll read something real fast. And it'll be bubbling away for about 10 minutes before we get to it, but that's okay. Where's my reading stuff? Have we done this one yet? Uh, yeah, I think... Let's do this one. Fishing. Oh, that's going to be worth it right there. Let's do it. Let's start up another batch. Wait, this is... That's a liter, too. I was thinking these were different amounts. I guess I was wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought these were like... I thought the pots were half a liter. Never mind. Just talking out of my head. Okay, well... That explains why they have the same <laughs> melting and boiling rates. We need to get some more wood on this fire here. There we go. I think we'll do two more on that one. Another one on this one. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of water now. I'm going to have to make like multiple trips just to haul the water back, to ferry it back to the, the cabin. Got to be heavy now. 8.83 gallons, or 8.83 liters. Is that true? Water actually converts into the exact same amount of kilograms. Huh. I had no idea. Learn something new every day. All right, let's try reading another, another chapter here. Oh shoot, my, I forgot to eat. Let's try that again. I, I realized it just as I hit research. Man. I think we'll do one more batch. Oh, it's it lets me do even more. What am I doing? What am I doing here, people? Ah, oh, shoot. I thought I had maxed it out. Apparently I hadn't. Well, shoot, man. One hour. That's okay. It, I mean, it's going to cost the same amount of fire and time anyway, so it's no big deal. Why did I take a torch? I wanted to add fuel. Yeah, let's add another... Got lots of reclaimed wood, so that's good. We'll add one there. Add one here. I bet you these ones are... This hasn't been maxed out yet either. Maybe this... I don't know. Ooh, foggy. Ooh, really, really warm too. So, yeah. Good point. Let's give him a couple bites of cattail here. All right. Still good on that. Oh, shoot. Until boiled? I need to boil that up then. Twenty nine minutes until boiled. I can't really it's nine minutes. Oh, that restarted? It if you take it off and put it right back on, it causes it to restart? That's interesting. Okay, well. A 
until boiled. Oh man. I'm all jacked up here, guys. Okay. So that one, yeah, okay. So these these are smaller capacity. I got you. All right, well, let's start doing a little bit of... Let's start... Can I not cook it? I have to... I have to actually put it in like this. I think we got plenty of plenty of water now. Twenty nine, okay. There we go. That one's a little bit off. Thirty four, forty seven. Yeah, all right. Give about two hours there. Give us options. Reclaimed one, sure. Same for that one. Cool. What am I lowest here? Uh, 23, 24, 48, 30. Let's see if I can harvest this rabbit in that much time. That's going to take a little long if I do that. Let's dial it back a little bit. All right, let's get the meat off. Everything else can wait until we get back to the. Okay, cool. 29, 11, 5, and 4. Okay. Oh, no. I just wanted to wrap it out there. You won't let me just take the rabbit? Okay. Fine. Drop it. So there's a fresh cooked rabbit. Let's cook this up. Cook this one up. That one's a small piece. Five minutes only. Till boil dry. Let's take that one off. Wonderful. All right, I think we're good on water. Pretty happy with ten, another 10 liters. Jeez. Holy smokes. Got to drop that there. This ptarmigan shouldn't take too long to cook. Yeah, five minutes. Wrong key. There we go. Why is it raw? Oh, because I was carrying a raw one. There we go. You're next, buddy. Oh, 30 minutes? That's a big chunk of ptarmigan. Okay. 30 minutes. Eh. What shall we got out here on the fire? We can do another batch. Um... Make some uh make some tea, can't we? No, I haven't prepared any the birch bark. Um Yeah, it might not be bad to have a little bit of that. Let me see here. Let me see. Prepared birch bark. Yeah, let's do that. I can just do one. We'll take it. I'm thirsty. There's no reason for me to be thirsty right now, is there? There we go. And we'll make a little tea out of what we got here. 14 minutes. Some herbal tea. Get that going. Shh. Uh, we already have coffee. Can I cook anything else? Not at the moment. That's just heating it up. It's not actually creating it. Okay, gotcha. Let's do another... Batch of water, sure. Yeah, one liter. All 
All right, we're getting stuff. Uh... Wow, Nightfall's almost here. I'm all over the place. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Only took me forever. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, I think we can read. We can read in that time. Wait a minute, what about our tea? I wanted to burn that till burned. Okay, let's get that. Let's do another batch of that. 37, let's add a little bit here. An hour six, and an hour, yeah, yeah. There we go. So everything should be cooked by then. All right, that might boil away, but I'm gonna try to read that last chapter. And the fog's gone. Try to read this last chapter. Do I need to eat something? Yeah, I do. There we go. Okay, let's try reading this last chapter. Eight minutes. Yeah. Might lose that one pot, but that's okay. Did I lose it? Oh no, I still have 21 minutes. All right, cool. Well, I think we're pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another torch out of here. So we have a few torches since we're out of fuel. Um, Yeah, good stuff. I might just leave this here as my little camping area or my little cooking area. Um, It's pretty nice. I can leave the food here. Which am I carrying? 31. Oh, yeah. You can definitely carry more. 6.8. I want to grab. Let's see where we're at now. Nice. Nine liters. That's good. I want to carry this rabbit with me back. We're going to skin it back when we get to the house. I might take one cooking pot with me. Yeah. Maybe two. And I'm going to leave this here. Um, I might. Hmm. How much is it? How many colors is it? I'll take that and a. It's pretty small. Take those two. We'll have that for dinner tonight. All right, let's head on back. Wait, it's at 38, so we're good. All right, I'd say we did pretty good. So we have a little little stash. Don't worry, the water will not freeze. Even though uh, that would be a very interesting game changing dynamic if it eventually did freeze inside those bottles and you had to reheat them. Somehow they just never do. All right, nightfall's almost here. We completed uh, the fishing, leveled up. Oh, one thing you guys always want me to do is check the day. So there we go, day 18. On our quest, I guess, you know, since we are trying to get to 500, it is kind of important to update that sort of thing. Let me go and get the flare out in case we need it. Since I'm, well, I'm only one stinky line. Could be worse. That was a that was a definitely worthwhile. All right. So I think I think uh tomorrow maybe tonight. Yeah, we got we're we still got quite a bit of energy. I think I'll drop off what I have here. Skin that rabbit, see what the weather looks like for nightfall. We might just try to make it over to uh, Trapper Homestead tonight before we lay our head down. Feels like negative 11. But I would like to get uh, some rabbit skin and, and some guts curing in the meantime before we start adventuring too much. Always good to have some of that laying around just in case. I'll grab these sticks real quick. There we go. Well, a little bit of outdoor activity should have definitely helped to uh, keep the old cabin fever a little more at bay.
And I did leave a book up there at the top of the lookout, the sewing primer book. I was looking right at it, and for some reason I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. Just sort of stared at it, and then walked away from it. But it's up there. I don't know if I ever get it, but probably just bumble around screwing things up until I level up naturally. There's so many other books that I need to read first. Nope, don't do that. Don't light it up. Oh, don't worry. We'll be dropping it off soon. Okay. All right, let's head on inside here. Dump off a lot of the stuff that we got going on in here. Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, put the rabbit pelts up here. Once I... uh. Once I skin this rabbit, uh, saving that for dinner, got a lot of water. I'll probably drop about half of that here before we go trekking across the rest of Mystery Lake. But in the meantime, while we're just kind of warming up, let's go ahead and skin this thing up here. Hour and 30, oh, hour and 30, hour and 20. It's, it takes longer with the improvised hatchet than just by hand. That's crazy. It's much better with the knife. Wow. Well, let's do it with no tools. Sure, why not? Okay. That sounded delicious. Okay. I don't know if I can see him. Okay, there's a cured gut. Put that there. Rabbit pelt. Put that there. So we got three rabbit pelts. What can we make with three? Is that a hat or is it the gloves? I think it's the hat, right? Rabbit skin hat. Yeah, it takes three. I think I'm going to go for this. And then after that, oh, you need four for the mitts. Ooh, okay. Okay. And a couple cured guts. One cured gut for that. Yeah, we're going for the hat first. I keep that head warm. All right, let's see what the, it looks like outside. If it's crazy dark and really hard to see, it's going to lose my interest pretty quick, but feels like negative seven. Let's do it. Let's move. Oh, hold on. Let me drop off some of this water right quick here. Uh, I think I'll just put it right up front. So that's kind of like hard to miss. Let's drop about, uh, yeah, let's drop about four. So there we go. We'll drop that. I don't really want to walk around with the meat. I think I might just eat it now. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it now. And then figure we'll we'll just add a little bit with the uh, cattail stocks if need be. When we get to the, uh, which we will by the time we get there. And then I don't need two cooking pots. So I'm going to drop one of these here. Yeah, I'll keep one with me, I guess. I really don't need three sewing kits either. Or these. Jeez. A lot of junk I don't need, apparently. Don't need three torches. There we go. We're, we're back down to more. A better weight. You know what? Let's run inside real quick. I know it's dark, but um, don't want to be carrying this book around because oh, I do. I do need to finish reading. I thought I finished reading it. Apparently not. We'll drink water as we go, which will decrease the weight there. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Twenty-seven sticks. That's a lot. That's a lot. We can drop some of these sticks outside. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. Drop some of these sticks outside. I'll probably drink some herbal tea just to recover a little bit too. Or I might just recover naturally since it's not really an emergency. There we go. It's a lot of cloth too. Yeah. Drop some of this cloth here, I guess. Half of, wow. I think I should, I think I should put some of these rose hips down. I don't know why I'm going in and out. I was going to go like storm somewhere, but if they go bad, then they'll just disappear. So I don't want to do that, but I don't want to drop them all on the ground because it's like pickup sticks after that. Man, that thing's heavy. Drop all those mushrooms, drop that. All right, we're at a better weight now. 
Turning it down. I think that's better. Uh, stay on target. Oh, I'm done with that one? Apparently so. Let's drop that one. All right, let's get moving. It's not too bad out. Just negative nine. Thing is, I want to have room for to pick up things as we go, you know? I want to have a little bit of room to... I don't expect to find a lot of stuff, but... I do happen to come across some good things. Oh, there's some wood I could have... chopped up, made good use of. Alright, gotta be a little careful here. Sometimes there's a wolf here, but sometimes there isn't. Um, I don't see one. So, all right, I think we're okay. The owls will be out in force tonight. Nice clear night, though. I do want to, I, like, I'm so tempted to pick up those sticks, but I really want to save room for looting. up over this hill, see what we got. Okay. All right. I'm so used to so used to playing stalker, where there's like wolves everywhere. Um, but the weather's nicer, and the loot is like plentiful by comparison. The real challenge here is like just a sheer lack of loot and uh, having to make it on your own. So there should be a uh, container here. There should be a metal box. Don't worry, I got you covered, brother. Is there not one here? Um, it usually was. I don't know. Some rose hips. I won't be too interested. Well, that was kind of a waste to come this way. Oh, well. It is what it is. Right in that direction, I think. If my ear triangulation, earbud triangulation, is working properly. I see a stick out there in the middle of nowhere. I got some maple sapling. I'm going to go grab that. Can't tell if it's a maple or a... Or a uh, birch. I hear you, brother. I hear you. I hear you, and I'm ignoring you. Yeah, we might just do some tea tonight. Just to make things a little bit better. There it is. Oh, it's birch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like six arrows right there. Or six shafts. Oh, it's maple. Two maples. Okay. I guess it's, the darkness threw me off. They appeared, you know, I was thinking they were birch, but dark. Because of the it being nighttime. But hey, alright, we'll take it. Alright, well, we'll climb up over this hill. See what we got at the bottom of it. At, uh... Oh gosh, Max's last stand. I think it is. Let's see what we got. Wow, the stars are awesome. I've heard, I, I, I believe when the, at least the game first came out, I believe that these stars are accurate. So. All right, let's take a peek down here, see what we got. Anything happening down here? No baddies? Alright. 
We're getting close. To get a drink. I'm probably going to need a few uh, cattail stocks at this rate. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be a bit hungry. Oh, there's a bear. Bear over there. Yeah, he's minding his own business, though. I'm sure Max won't have anything on him. He never does. Corpses never have anything. Jeez. Any feathers? Yes. Take that. Any other feathers? Just a one? Stingy with the feathers they be. Okay. Oh, well. Let's head on over here. So I was told in the comments that the three places I've... There's four possible places for... Uh, like, four place, possible places for a magnifying glass and interloper. And I've checked three of them, apparently, and they weren't at any of those. I didn't realize I was checking them, but whoever the commenter was realized it and put in the timestamps. They said that there's one more... And if I haven't got it to any other place, there's it's going to be guaranteed to be here in the in the uh, Trapper Homestead. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to search this place top to bottom. So we'll see if that's true or not. Because magnifying glass never goes bad, and you can always get a fire started outdoors as long as it's sunny outside. So that's kind of awesome. Oh, heavy hammer. Don't need it. <laughs> Don't need it. Good place to find it, though. All right. Watch out for the moose. Sometimes there's a moose around here. All right, let's get inside. I'm starting to get cold. Yeah, we'll, we'll drink some uh, tea and be pretty well healed up when morning comes. We won't be nearly as bad off as we are now let's get in here and get some rest for sure for sure for sure uh let's see what we got in the first aid kit i'm just curious this is happening nowhere that's at all right i'm not gonna do a whole lot of looting um i think we'll just get some rest here um i can't i can do that i guess yeah yeah it's night probably want to kill a little bit of time though how are we doing on calories? 514. Not too bad. Didn't use up as many as I thought we would. I guess I'll eat a few of these while I ponder. Could have made some oatmeal. We had the fires going. Probably should have done that. Made a few batches of oatmeal, but uh, it is what it is. We'll be able to cook that later. I'm sure I'll be grateful that I did. didn't use it all right now. At some other time. Okay, it should be over. That's good. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll search in the morning. Kind of want to get maximum benefit of the teeth, though. Is there anything in here I can just kind of bust up and... Just for the heck of it? Yeah, it's only going to cost me 15 minutes of time. Not really. That chair, can I bust that chair up? That's really hard to see. I, I, I can barely see anything myself. Um, we can leave the cabin and take a look around it a little bit. Feels like negative 12. It's getting cold. How are the rabbits doing back here? I could grab a couple of rabbits and skin them. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll uh, bring a couple of rabbits back here. Should be hopping around here somewhere. There he is. At least one. Turn your head, folks. Okay. It's over. Is there just a one? All right. Guess it's just a one. We'll eat our rabbit meat that we have. Um, Actually, no. I'll have to start a fire. I don't really want to start another fire serve these matches right until we have like a, just a ton of them but uh we'll harvest them in here since it's so cold outside that should kill a decent amount of time yeah two hours that'll be good make us nice and tired ah perfect let me see um leave him leave the rabbit outside so that it doesn't go bad as quick
There we go, get rid of those. Put the uh, guts in the pelt down here. Not too keen on carrying this stuff with me. I might come back and get it later. But as for now, I guess we can go ahead and eat a little bit here. I'll probably have this beef jerky. And then we should be good. 714. Just about right. I think maybe one more of these. There we go. All right. Oh, hold on. You know what I want? What I really want is my herbal tea. I'm going to drink that. That uh, hydrates us at the same time. No point in wasting hydration. Now we'll top it off with the water. There we go. All right, let's go straight to bed here. All right. That should really shoot up our uh, HP. Let's see where it's at. I think we're about 40. Oh, yeah, we're up to about 80 now. Let's get a nice another drink here. Uh oh, sounds windy outside. Sounds a bit windy. 18 days, 4 hours, 44 minutes, 9% cured. I'll put this up here. Put this up here. Oh, oh there we go. Mm, can opener. All right, let's get this safe. Correct, shall we? All right, so like 55 or so. All right. 55 and... Five? Can I do it? Or am I going to overshoot it? Probably overshoot it. Oh, not bad. All right. Probably nothing in here. Some money. <laughs> it burns good. Oh, nice. Some soda. We'll take that. That's worth it. All right. Another one down here, too. And a candy bar and uh, dog food. That's probably going to try to kill me, but hey, whatever. All right. Let's see here. Now, there's supposed to be a magnifying glass around here for sure. I think I'm just being trolled. I don't think it's actually here. I'd be shocked. There might not even be a magnifying glass in Interloper. I don't know. Wilderness Kitchen, we'll take that. Nice little stove. Note. Let you guys read that if you want to from one of our backers. Search backpack. I've never searched that backpack from that direction before. Um, I don't think there's any guarantees in Interloper. That's why I say that. Because I don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find one. Lies. It's all lies. I don't know. Things change so often in this game. I just, it's hard to keep track of it all. Which is a good thing. All right, let's search the locker. Magnify glass. No. Not today, not today, sir. Well, got my hopes up for nothing. That's okay, though. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure I checked everywhere. I don't think I left any stone unturned. Even moved a newsprint. <laughs> All right, well. I just want to make sure I was, wasn't, like, just staring at it. Walking away from it. Okay. Well, I, I think that's about it. So, uh, all right. Well, we can always come back here. We got food. We got a little bit of, uh, got some resources we could pick up. Wow, 16. That's not bad. Uh, do I want to run those back? I could have mittens if I did that. I mean, the rabbits are everywhere, though, so they're not really that hard to find. All right. Let's move on. Oh, let's not move on. Let's stay in because it's a nasty blizzard outside right now. Feels like negative nine there, but when you step out, it feels like negative 27 degrees Celsius. All right, so uh, you guys up for some reading? <laughs> All right, let's get comfy here in the chair. Let's sit down, pretend like I'm in the chair. Let's see here. 
You want to try it? Risk it for a biscuit? We'll just be sick for like 10 hours. In a blizzard. It could be worse. I say we go for it. Let's give it a shot. Who'd have thought eating nasty dog food could make you sick? Okay, well. I haven't started puking yet. Okay. Well, so be it. Let's see if we can get ourselves back up to 100%. Maybe. I don't know. Not going to... Uh... Oh, I should have dropped that. I need to drop that, too. Now, see, if I'm inside the house, I don't think it should matter whether I have it laid out on the table or in my backpack as far as curing. I got maybe the air around it. I don't know. But I should have dropped this. I forgot I had those. Yeah, I should have dropped those to start curing. It's not a big deal. We have a lot of them curing already. But uh, And the wind stopped. Does that mean it's clear? we got clear skies now? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful outside. Okay. Well, we're going to be traveling now. Forget about the reading. Forget about the reading assignment. We're traveling. Is this going to make me stinky? Can be used for crafting and repair after. Oh, it actually tells you how long. I've never read that before, I don't think. It's going to make me stinky. I think it does. No, I think... I think Hides are okay. I think it's the fresh guts that make you stinky. Alright, I'm going to put this right here then. Okay. I think we're good with the hides. We'll carry that with us. Okay, let's get moving. I went a weird way. Normally I don't go that way. Yeah, it's a really odd way to go for me. All right. I think I need three of those to make a birch bark tea. You see another one? I see sticks everywhere. A lot of sticks. All right. Just in case I need a fire. Can I always drop sticks, I guess. Don't really want to stop and like chop down a tree or nothing. Nothing like that. How are we doing on weight? Not too bad. A little more than a kilo. Free space before we start whining and complaining about it. Okay. Now, there's usually a deer down here, but it might have decomposed by now. So, okay. I'm just going to go this way. In that little circle of rocks over there where that tree is. Uh, there's a sapling out here. I hope it's a birch. I don't need any more. I don't need any more uh, maples to make bows. What I really need is some birch to make more arrows. Because you can never have too many arrows. And it's a birch with the white, with the rings, and the, the flavin. All right, there we go. So we now have a birch sapling. Did I pick up the other ones? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Look at me double-checking things. It's almost like I'm learning. I'm going to climb up here and take a peek down before I go just up and over and commit fully to uh, to the hunting blind up here. Or not really a blind, but a stand. It's pretty obvious if you ask me. It's not really blind. Just when I was getting feeling all better and everything, I want to start freezing here and losing HP again. But you know what? 
kind of used to it by now. All right, let's take a peek down here, see what kind of threats we got down here. All right. You guys see any wolves? Any bears? Mosquitoes? Ill-tempered gnats, gnats or something like that? I don't know. Let's head down here. I think there's some... Uh, oh, there's a bear. Hello, bear. Don't mind me. Just doing a little loot. No, there's a wolf way over there, too. See him on the left side of the screen. They're right in the middle. So we got a bear and a wolf. And a sprained ankle. And, uh, yeah, everything's going to be just fine. Don't worry about me. And a rabbit over here. It's just like... It's just like... Yeah, there we go. Surviving the outdoors. Don't go where there's bears and wolves and sprain your ankle and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. That was for... You know what? I just want to wrap it. I used the wrong thing. There we go. I used the pills on the actual wound itself. Like I, I took the pills and I rubbed them on my ankle or something. I guess that's equivalent of what I just did. Uh, okay, so now we got this little weird. We can we can move around just fine. We're just in pain right now. And the wolf went up and over the hill, but we should be all right. So this is the bear's cave. This is where he lives. Yep, that's the bear, all right. He's probably got some nice bones in there and everything. I want to go in here and check and see if there's... Yep, there's his little footprints coming out. Did you leave anything for me? Nope, nothing. He never does, but I was hoping one of these updates changed things and suddenly there was like... The sat phone is in there. Next to the magnifying glass, of course. All right. All right, unnamed cabin. Where'd that wolf go? He's over there somewhere. Yeah. As long as he leaves me alone. That's all I care. That's all I care about. Dead guy. Maybe some feathers? Got some feathers? Yeah, crow feathers. That's uh that's nice. Anything in here? Nope, nothing around there. Check the dead guy for nothing, of course. Yep. Is that it? Just two feathers? Is there a rabbit out here? There's a hippity hoppy rabbit. I could go hunting here in a minute. All right, guys. Well, I hear I'm looking at the time, though. We're coming up on the hour mark, so we just saved here as we walked in. And we'll, uh, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and loot this cabin. Maybe get that rabbit. Maybe do a little cooking. Eat a little bit of uh, food. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I might go back and cook. That's going to be hard to transport that meat. Really don't want to have to cook twice. I guess I could cook a little something. We'll figure it out. But, yeah. We'll do that in the next episode. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you see any magnifying glasses hiding around here. I'm sure there's like five or six of them. So it's like a Frisch's menu. All right, guys. Oh, my radio kind of looks like that. Kind of. All right. <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.